happening? Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? What's the procedure? Stay calm. Person. What sucks is marrying the wrong person and not having the decency to tell her until 32 years later. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we dive into the juiciest reality TV moments. Today, we're talking about the latest drama from Mama Chun, family crisis that has fans everywhere buzzing. This time, it's Honey Boo Boo questioning her mom, Mama Chun, about missing money. Yep, you heard that right. We got exclusive details on the conversation you won't want to miss. In this exclusive sneak peek, Alana and Lauren get in a heated fight with Chun over misused funds. The drama continues for Mama Chun Shannon and her kids as daughter Alana. Honey Boo Boo Thompson has some questions about missing money. In this exclusive sneak peek from a new episode of Mama Chun, Family Crisis, Alana's sister, Lauren, is looking at the money in a special Coogan account containing the money Alana was paid as a child actor, which has matured now that she is 18. That's the mass stater and part of the Dancing with the Stars money, June tells Lauren, who discovers that the account contains $33,000, far less than Alana and Lauren expected. There should at least be six figures in that account, Alana says in a solo interview. Something's not adding up. My money is somewhere. It needs to be found right now, ASAP, because this is not going to work. After being grilled on why the account is so low, June gets defensive and says it's the result of taxes. I can't help that there's not more money, June argues. Taxes were took out automatically, 50%. I'm no tax person, but I know good and well no state is taking 50% worth of taxes out of every check. Lauren argues, on being pushed more on her excuses. June says the money was spent on stuff for Elena. You have been taking care of your own self, paying your own bills since you were the age of 12, June claims, and you've been doing a good job of it. From my perspective, I didn't spend anything of that money. Elena shoots back. You spent that money on what you wanted to do with it because I didn't have no say, so on where that money went. As June runs out of excuses, she changes tact and argues that Elena should just be happy with the $33,000 she's getting. That's a hell of a lot more than most 18-year-olds start off their life with, June declares. Yeah, but I've been on TV since I was six, Elena reasonably shoots back, and now I have what to show for it. Elena and June appeared together during season six of The Masked Saver in 2019, where they performed as the Beach Ball. Meanwhile, Elena competed on the special season of Dancing with the Stars, Juniors, which aired in 2018. Mama June, Family Crisis airs Fridays at 9 p.m. on WeTV Honey Boo Boo's Weight Loss Story. Disclosing facts and truth, Honey Boo Boo's weight loss journey is a story of inspiration. The reality star should pounds and tone down her appearance, leaving all surprised. Here's how Alana Frances Thompson, renowned as Honey Boo Boo, is proudly showing off her remarkable weight loss transformation via her social media handle every now and then. The youngest and the fourth daughter of Mama June Shannon has sought the attention of all with her cute smile and leaner look, belonging to a family who has always been in the limelight for their involvement in reality shows. She has been in the eye of critics as well as well-wishers. Honey Boo Boo's weight loss journey is one of the topics of discussion for her fans and commenters. What was Honey Boo Boo's weight loss diet plan? Honey Boo Boo is yet to reveal what her diet includes. However, she has always found it difficult to stick to healthy eating habits for shedding a few pounds naturally. As per research, the fundamental dietary advice to reduce weight includes strategies to lower the energy density of the diet. For that, one must focus on increasing vegetable and fruit consumption and decreasing consumption of high calorie food. In addition, one must make lifestyle changes that manage their energy intake while receiving optimal nutrition, controlling hunger, and promoting satiety. 5. Sudina Sindwani, our expert, further suggests to do the following to shed pounds naturally. Limit processed foods. Add protein with respect to your body weight. Add good fats. Inculcate physical activity on a regular basis. Focus more on whole foods. Add thermogenic foods to the diet. 
What kind of workout regimen did Honey Boo Boo follow? Stay tuned to see how this all unfolds because things are getting serious and the questions keep piling up. Honey Boo Boo posted a couple of photographs of her body empowerment shoot. She then revealed that she visited the gym five days a week and found a big difference in how she feels and looks. As per a study published in NCBI, exercise is an integral part of any weight loss program. Physical activity contributes to multiple health benefits that play a huge role in both short and long-term weight loss and weight maintenance. 6. Honey Boo Boo Before and After Weight Loss Images Here is a quick glimpse of how Honey Boo Boo looked before and after her weight loss journey. Honey Boo Boo's weight loss is dramatic. When diets didn't give her the desirable results, this amazing girl opted for a non-surgical weight loss procedure. Despite facing criticism and questions about her weight loss decision due to her young age, Honey Boo Boo remains determined and lives her life with high and positive spirits. Currently, she is pursuing nursing at Regis University in Denver, Colorado, and lives with her boyfriend Roland Carswell. Just like Mama June Shannon, Elena too jumped onto the weight loss bandwagon and shared the slices of her life via her social media handles. Mama June fans shocked by Pumpkin's massive back tattoo. Mama June fans recently discovered that Lauren Pumpkin Effort is working on a massive back tattoo. The Wii TV star is apparently covering up some older ink she has on her back and chose a huge piece to do it. Fans took to social media to discuss the questionable back tat. Continue reading to catch a glimpse of the artwork. Pumpkin's new tattoo is huge. Tattoo artist Buck Llewellyn took to Instagram to share the progress made on Pumpkin's new piece. He wrote, Food start for it, Pumpkin, several cover-ups. She seems to be having multiple tattoos on her back covered up. A Reddit user shared a screenshot of the tattoo artist's Instagram story. They wrote, Oh, Pumpkin, no. What is she doing? The person continued, this is almost worse than cheating on her husband with his cousin. Anyone else assuming she's getting this done for free or discounted as a shop out promo kind of thing. Fans tripped over each other rushing to the comments to weigh in on the back tattoo. Is she having a midlife crisis? One commenter asked. She is the crisis. Another person responded. Several commenters asked what she was getting tattooed. Because it is still the outline, it could be a little hard to make out. Some people thought it could be a clown, creepy. This is an Oni from Japanese folklore. You know, because she's very cultured, one person wrote, sarcastically, looks like Bowser. Another person replied, the third person laughed, I thought it was Bowser too, I hope he sues. And a fourth added, my first thought was the Joker from Batman. Uh, one of June fans question why she's spending money on tats. There were a few people who pointed out that Pumpkin frequently complains about being able to afford her bills. Tattoos are expensive, costing hundreds of dollars per hour in some cases. So how does she have the money to cover this? She's not broke, one Reddit user stated. In the financial paperwork for the divorce, they claim they make up to $40,000 per month. Another commenter suggested that Pumpkin doesn't fall far from the tree. Mama June and the whole family have been accused of grifting from their fans. They often get on TikTok and beg for money, but then go on expensive vacations or do something like this. A few Reddit users tried to make out what the Mama June star was having covered up. The tattoos might have some kind of significant meaning to her marriage to her ex, John Shifford. The couple broke things off earlier this year and filed for divorce on August 1. In the agreement, Pumpkin got their house and they will share custody of their three children. They also agreed to not pay each other any spousal or child support. What do you think of Pumpkin's new tattoo? Let us know your thoughts down below. Mama June's daughter Pumpkin reveals shocking five-figure monthly salary. Mama June's daughter Pumpkin reveals shocking five-figure monthly salary. Mama June's daughter Pumpkin reveals shocking five-figure monthly salary. You'd be surprised how much Honey Boo Boo's big sis rakes in in a month. Lauren Pumpkin Effort's surprising income is revealed in new child support court documents. She's currently going through a divorce from her estranged husband, Josh Effort. According to In Touch, Pumpkin and her estranged husband each make $20,000 a month. It's not clear what jobs the two holds are bringing this kind of cash. Combined $40,000, so perhaps they're wanting to keep their honey hole a secret. 
It's been a fairly amicable divorce, with each of the Eifords praising the other's parenting at different points. They are sharing custody and not paying child support to one another. Legal documents tied to the divorce show that the couple do have a custody agreement in place, with details pertaining to visitation, child support, and how to split their property and debt. <laughs> Award of Child Support The parties shall equally divide the expenses of the minor children, including but not limited to uncovered medical expenses, extracurricular activities, and necessary school expenses. The agreement reads via Yahoo. The reality couple have four children together, Ella, born in 2017, Bentley, born in 2021, and twins Silas and Stella, born in 2022. It seems to be a pretty chill split compared to most reality TV breakups. Lauren Pumpkin Efford, Angelantia GA GA Numir Y09. Lauren Pumpkin Shannon with daughter Ella Grace Efford attends Growing Up Hip Hop Atlanta Season 2 premiere party at Woodruff Arts Center on January 9, 2018 in Atlanta, Georgia. Photo by Paris Griffin slash Getty Images for Wet. Casey Musgraves on Nashville Star. Nashville Star was a country music reality television competition that ran for seven seasons, but wound up discovering few actual country stars. A look at each season's finalists finds only a handful of recognizable names, including a young Casey Musgraves, who finished seventh during season five in 2007. Just 18 at the time, Musgraves can be found performing a song called Halfway to Memphis on YouTube. It'd be another six years until we get her epic debut album. Angela Hacker won that season. Chase Rice on Survivor. Chase Rice competed on Survivor. Nicaragua in 2010 and did well. He was the runner-up, winning a large sum, supposedly $100,000, and getting a shot to perform an original song during the reunion show in December 2010. He chose a song called Pose Back and the cast seemed to like it. Throughout his season, he'd talk about his country music dreams, even singing to his fellow contestants when he wasn't breaking alliances with them. Whitney Duncan on Survivor Whitney Duncan has more reality shows on her resume than charting country singles. Duncan finished fifth on season five of Nashville Star, ninth on Survivor, South Pacific in 2011, and eighth on the 25th season of Amazing Race in 2014. She's best known for eventually marrying her fellow Survivor contestant Keith Tolleson, with whom she competed on Amazing Race. That union brought about the end of her first marriage as the relationships overlapped, at least on paper. Duncan, whose best known song was Skinny Dipping, was also on TLC Say Yes to the Dress. Chuck Wicks on Nashville. In the fall of 2007, the newcomer Chuck Wicks was set to star on a reality television slash soap opera series called Nashville on Fox. The much hyped Friday night series followed folks hoping to live out their dreams as country singers. It lasted two episodes before getting scrapped, but Wicks soldiered on with a song called Cinderella that would become his first and only top five hit. Later he'd compete on ABC's Dancing with the Stars with then-girlfriend Julian Howe. He's now co-host of the very popular Ty, Kelly and Chuck radio show. Jamie Johnson on Nashville Also on the cast of Fox's Nashville was Jamie Johnson, who by 2007 had found some success. His own song, The Dollar, had been a top 20 hit, and he penned George Strait's Give It Away, among others. Now known for being somewhat reclusive, it's fascinating to imagine him on a reality show slash soap opera. What we wouldn't do to see the four unaired episodes. Cop Car co-writer Matt Jenkins was also on this show, as was a woman named Mika Combs who will appear later on this list. Frederick M. Brown, Giddy Images, Michael Ray on The Next. The Next was a CW reality singing competition with a local focus. Essentially, the famous judges and mentors started by pitting local artists against each other, then a winner moved on to semi-final and final rounds. Michael Ray, with John Rich as a mentor, ended up winning with a performance of Jake Owen's Barefoot Blue Jean Night. 
he got a record deal out of it, which he's parlayed into several hits. After a single season, the series was scrapped. Chris Young on Nashville Star Without a doubt, Chris Young is Nashville Star's most successful winner, although season one winner Buddy Jewel found a few hits immediately afterward. You probably know Young One, unless you're new to country music. It was a long road to success for this Tennessee, however. He won season four in 2006, but didn't notch a hit song until his fourth try three years later. Cannon Smith on Amazing Race. Cannon Smith competed on season 15 of Amazing Race with Mika Combs, told you to remember her, and their young relationship played out in amazing ways on national television, none of them good. They did finish sixth, but things came to a head when Combs would not slide down a giant water slide to get to the finish line before Harlem Globetrotters flight time and Big Easy, who did some trash talking to intensify her fear of heights and water. We couldn't find video of the incident but did find this clip of the then couple talking about it immediately afterward. He was so sweet. Justin Timberlake on Star Search Justin Timberlake only devils in country on occasion but were so in love with the little cowboy's performance on Star Search in 1992 that we had to include him. Of course he go on to much bigger things and help launch Chris Stapleton into superstardom. Miranda Lambert on Nashville Star that's Miranda Lambert sandwiched between Buddy Jewel and John Arthur Martinez during the final episode of Nashville Star, Season 1. She finished third behind winner Jewel. We still smile thinking about her audition video. The song Greyhound Bound for Nowhere is a cheating song co-written with her father. Runaway June's Jennifer Wayne on Amazing Race Runaway June's Jennifer Wayne joined Carolyn Cutbirth for Amazing Race Season 24 and finished second behind a father and son team. Both of these teams also competed in Season 22, finishing fourth and eighth. Runner-up teams are said to win $25,000. Riley Green on Redneck Island It's possible Riley Green isn't eager to talk about his two-season on CMT's Redneck Island. He did win the second time and got a fat check for it. But the show was all about putting sexy drunk people in impossibly messy situations. And oh yeah, they live together too. Sue, show biography seemed to have been exaggerated. When asked, Green denied trying to make friends with cops in college to stay out of jail. And he's grown up quite a bit since. Actually, his new In a Truck Right Now EP showcases some thoughtful country stories about familiar topics. There was this girl, is his debut single. We run from the unknown, from the forever, category that year. Of course there's video. Phil Vassar on Star Search. We have no words for this. Before becoming a thoughtful piano-driven country singer and songwriter, Phil Vassar was apparently a lounge act. It's almost unforgivable, but it's hard to stay mad when you're laughing with such enthusiasm. Vassar appeared on Star Search in the late 80s, but did not win. Lauren Pumpkin Effort says Mama June will lose another child if she doesn't repay Elena Honey Boo Boo Thompson. 
Mama June Shannon also faced backlash about Olana's money from husband Justin Stroud, who told cameras, I know my wife is blind, but does she really think that I'm blind too and don't see what's going on? Mama June Shannon was back in the hot seat during this week's episode of Mama June, Family Crisis. As the family began to return to normalcy on the July 12 episode, after the death of Anna Chickadee Cardwell, Helena Honey Boo Boo Thompson was hoping to revisit the $35,000 June still owed her. While preparing for the upcoming school year, Elena called Sister Lauren Pumpkin Efford to sort out how she was going to pay for it. I don't really have the money for the rent in school in the fall, Elena told her older sister. Is it too soon to bring it up to Mama? Mama Jim cries about Chickadee's cancer diagnosis and new family crisis trailer pumpkin quickly jumped to Elena's defense, telling her it's been plenty of time and she has a right to ask for your money back especially since it was for something important. When Anna was sick, we all agreed as a family that all the drama that we had going on, that we were going to push all of that to the side, Pumpkin explained in a confessional. But now that Anna has passed, it's time for Elena to ask for the money back. June, who had custody of Anna's daughter, Caitlin, after her death, was served with papers from the child's father, Michael, for custody earlier in the episode. Pumpkin said that her mom continuing to withhold the money from Alana would not help her case in court. Honestly, if mama doesn't give her the money back, it's gonna be stupid because you've already lost one kid, why lose another? Pumpkin questioned. Alana Honey Boo Boo Thompson threatens to take Mama June to court for stealing her earnings. You don't give a F. The girls agreed that June has to face reality and reopen the discussion about the funds, but they were unsure when to bring it back up since Elena was in Colorado finishing the year in college. You know she's got the money, be for real, Elena said. Well, that's where she's still a piece of this, so we'll see, Pumpkin responded. Meanwhile, over at June's house, she was dealing with contention in her marriage. Her husband, Justin Stroud, had been encouraging her to return the money to Elena, but instead, June bought a new dishwasher and was planning a girl's trip to Panama City. I know my wife is blind, but does she really think that I'm blind too and don't see what's going on? Justin told the cameras after catching June hiding her phone from him while she paid for an expensive air room. I don't want to think that she's being shady, but who the hell knows anymore? Anna Cardwell's death rocks the family and Mama June's secret vow renewal turns volatile in Family Crisis teaser, exclusive when June called Pumpkin and sister Jessica Shannon to tell them they would be going on vacation that weekend, which Pumpkin initially suggested they used to spread Anna's ashes. Her daughters were shocked that she would continue spending money without resolving the financial issues first. Mama these days is just so out of touch with reality, it's insane, Pumpkin said. She wants to fund this entire Florida trip to go down and spray Anna's ashes, which I'm okay with, but it's like, you must think that we forgot that you still owe a lot of money. While she thought the trip was not the best idea, Pumpkin said she had hope that it would give Elena the opportunity to confront June about the money. Mama needs to get her head out of her ass and give her her money, Jessica added. For those of you who may not have kept up with Mama June, family crisis, here's a little backstory. The show follows June Shannon, Aka Mama June, after her well-publicized struggles with addiction and legal battles. But this season, it's all about family tension and no one's holding back, especially not Honey Boo Boo, who's now 17 and growing up fast. Alana, better known as Honey Boo Boo, has been dealing with a lot lately. She's preparing for her future, getting ready for college, and navigating her relationship with her mom. But on top of all that, something strange has come up. Missing money. In one of the most shocking moments this season, Alana sits down with her mom and asks the big question on everyone's mind. What happened to my money? Alana's referring to the money that she believes should have been set aside from her child star days on Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. Given June's past financial and legal issues, Alana and fans have been wondering where that money went. Is it still there? Did it get spent? Mama June, of course, denies any wrongdoing. She tells Alana that she didn't steal any money, but admits that things have been chaotic. You can see the tension rise as Alana presses her for answers. And it's not just Alana who's feeling suspicious. Lauren, or Pumpkin, Alana's older sister, 
has been involved in their family finances ever since she got legal custody of Elena. Pumpkin is stepping in to make sure Elena's future is secure, and she's got her own questions about how the money's been handled. Pumpkin's have enough of the excuses, and in the same episode, she confronts Mama June herself. The conversation gets heated as Pumpkin demands transparency, and it's clear that she's ready to protect her sister at all costs. Mama June, meanwhile, insists that the missing money is all a misunderstanding. She says that while things may have gotten out of control during her darkest days, she didn't intentionally take anything from her daughters. June explains that between her substance abuse issues and legal problems, a lot of money was spent, but she never deliberately took Helena's money. She claims that she's trying to make things right and rebuild trust with her family. Meanwhile, Helena is caught in the middle. She's grown up in the spotlight and has been dealing with family drama for years, but this situation is different. This is about her future and her finances. Alana opens up about how difficult it's been to trust her mom, especially after everything that's happened. She's focused on building her own life, getting ready for college, and making sure she's set up financially. But with these questions about her money lingering, it's hard for her to move forward without answers. And of course, the fans have a lot to say about this too. Social media has been buzzing with reactions to this episode, and people are split. Some are on Alana and Pumpkin's side, saying they have every right to demand answers. Others believe that Mama June is genuinely trying to make amends. Here are just a few of the fan reactions we found. One fan tweeted, Alana deserves to know the truth about her money. Mama June needs to come clean, while another posted, I think June's trying her best, but her past mistakes keep haunting her. keeping a close eye on how this family crisis continues to develop. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any updates on Mama June, Family Crisis, and all your other favorite reality TV shows. Let us know in the comments, whose side are you on? Do you think Mama June is telling the truth? Let's talk about it below. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Boobsell Cody. Thank you for watching 